Hi, I'm Sam Heifel from Entertainment Weekly. I am here at Comic-Con with Gotham's David Mazouz and Starlet, who, let's face it, is, like, killing the game. <laughs> oh, my so gosh, this she is this So this is the announcement. She will be cast as Harley Quinn in Gotham oh, amazing. season five. I can't believe that was the cutest thing. That was the best moment of my Comic Con. Her looking up. Have you started filming the final season? We start Monday. You start Monday. Oh my! So you've read like a script. I've read the first four scripts. The first four scripts. Yeah. Oh my god. Which is um. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna say this because I'm promoting Gotham. <laughs> I'm on the show, but they're really good. Yeah. Like they're there are they are. Yeah. Um. Sh- they they are they are particularly good, and I'm I'm really excited. It's it's. You know, having this season, I don't know what she's doing. Starlet. She's just killing it. Okay. She's like, she's, she's like, done. I'm done with you guys. She's mm. bored. I've never had anyone walk out on an interview before. <laughs> That's amazing. Especially 30 <laughs> seconds into it. Um, so, uh, you know, th- this season, last season ended um, with kind of the government shutting its uh, its back, or showing its back to Gotham. Sure. Um, it's it's a dark island. Little electricity, food. Uh, ammo, all yeah. that kind of stuff, and um, this kind of situation brings out kind of the caric- caricatures of uh, the all the characters that we know, and yeah. it's going to be very character driven this year. Yeah. And you know, the characters are finally going to become who we who we know them as, and um, it's really fast paced. It's really real. It feels really dark, and um, you know, you you, it's a uh, I don't know. I don't want to give away too much, but it's it's really good. Yeah, you it's a really good season. It needs like a savior more than ever. Exactly, it does. <laughs> it needs a bat. Are you so excited? Because I mean, from day one, they've always said, you know, like this series ends when he becomes Batman, when Bruce Wayne becomes Batman. So when you heard this is the final season, were you just like, finally, yeah, <laughs> finally, I get to put on the suit? Because you've slowly, I feel like, gotten to do iconic moments. You're standing on roofs. I mean, the season ended with you and Jim Gordon on a rooftop, which yeah. in its own was like an iconic moment. <laughs> but for you, I feel like this has been such a long journey. You've been Bruce Wayne in so many different situations. Have you like gone and rewatched the pilot, or like? I feel like you should. You know like you what? Should. Actually, this morning I was doing an interview and they showed a clip from the pilot, oh and it was so weird. Yeah. It was. It was a clip. With, yeah, it was with me, Sean, and uh, and Ben, Alfred, and and Gordon. It was just so weird. I mean, besides me looking so young and my voice being like <laughs> up in the sky, um, I don't. It was. Yeah, I don't know. Like it. It, I mean, now that I know it's ending, it's it's so nostalgic. Everything, thinking, yeah. thinking about the show and thinking about all the memories, the past five years of my life, ever since I was twelve when I started auditioning for this, and now I'm seventeen. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's been this show has carried me through my entire adolescence so far, yeah. and uh, it's yeah, it's sad, you know, thinking that this is gonna end. This chapter of my life is is behind me, but um, I'm really excited to be Batman, um, <laughs> and yeah, and for whatever lies ahead. Yeah. Are you going to be so bummed if you don't actually get to say the words, I'm Batman? Yes. Of course. <laughs> Just putting it out there. Of course you I'm going to be them. bummed. Yeah. But Bruce has gone through so many. I mean, I feel like every time I was watching it, I'd be like, oh, this is the thing that's going to lead him to Batman. And they'd be like, nope, yeah. twist. We're taking him back. Do you have like a favorite part of his journey or a storyline that you particularly loved playing over the years? There's, um, there's a lot. I mean, the great thing about a show is that you can explore an entire person's life, an entire you know, um, in a movie, if you have like a character arc, it really has to be pretty, pretty specific, pretty um, centralized to one thing. Whereas in a show, you can kind of um, have it be very slow, and that's kind of what Gotham has done with a lot of the characters, but especially with Bruce. Like you said, yeah. there's a lot of things that you think, oh, okay, you know. Um, and there were a lot of moments like that where I got excited, <laughs> and I was like, oh, and then you know, I get the script, and he goes back, and I'm like, but that's, but that's what makes it realistic. That's what yeah. makes it. Um, you know, that's what, that's what makes it real. That's what makes it Gotham. Yeah. So one of the things that I love, um, I think my, my favorite episode, because uh, it's great for Bruce and it's great for the entire show. I think it looks fantastic. It is uh, the episode where Jerome kidnaps Bruce mm. and they go to the circus in season three. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it, I mean, that, that was the first, I mean, that was an iconic moment um, because that was the episode where Bruce says that I'm not going to kill, um, yeah. which is kind of Batman's defining feature, right. especially when it comes to um, his distinction to any other superhero. Um, yeah, I think, um, and th- that, because that, that's something that hasn't gone away. That's something that he still carries with him and he still believes more than anything. Yeah. And 
yeah, that's that's my favorite moment. Yeah. Well, so the season ended in the finale. Like, different villains are taking over different sections of the city. If you had to pick one that was, like, the safest, knowing that it still wasn't safe, where do you think is the safest area in Gotham right now? Well, I think the <laughs> safest area is, like, the GCPD section. Um, sure. But uh, it still doesn't even feel that safe. <laughs> no, I mean, listen, nothing, nothing safe. Um, it's Gotham. Nothing was safe before, you right. know, especially now. Uh, but I think, you know, my question is, what's going on with Wayne Manor right now? That's true. Because it's technically outside of Gotham, so I don't think there's like I don't, I don't know. I don't know if there will be a Wayne Manor this year. What if what if you show up and just someone's camped out and just take yeah, it exactly. over? Yeah, there's, exactly. There's a bunch of people just like, <laughs> a bunch of squatters in Wayne Manor that are just chilling, having parties yeah. all the time, trashing the house. That'd be hilarious. Damn, that sucks. Alfred's and, worst oh, nightmare. <laughs> what about this? What if what if that happens and then finally, like, after No Man's Land thing ends, they go back to Wayne Manor and then Alfred kicks them all out and the house is ruined so they need to rebuild and that's when they make it into the iconic W. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I think I, think I just got just, super yeah. nerdy just now. I, I know. I, I realized it right it. when I said it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> last thing I'll touch on. You guys have such a huge cast, and you've gotten to play opposite a lot of people, but you certainly, like, I feel like, are more heavily in scenes with certain actors. Yeah. Is there any character you'd love just, like, a little bit more time with before it ends? Yes. Who? There's, there's two. Okay. <laughs> Penguin and Riddler. Sure. And Penguin I've had, I've had two scenes with, uh, or two or three, and they've been, they've been good, but, you know, I would love like a good arc with him. Yeah. Um, and Nigma, I had one scene with, and it was like through a glass. So what, like, was didn't doesn't count. Right. <laughs> I, 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 that's amazing. Like four years, like four, like eighty-eight episodes so far with yeah. no scenes with like two central characters. Yeah. Like, how is that possible? We need to fix that. <laughs> it's a huge. And mess. also, and also, he he is like um, Nigma is my favorite villain. I love his evolution. And mm-hmm. Corey's the nicest guy. He's one of the most brilliant actors I've ever worked with. Yeah. Almost worked with. Um, and uh, I would love to actually have a scene with him. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Gotham, final season. David, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for having me. Yeah.